students. In this video, we are going to look into each types of fossils. As I've mentioned in my previous video, fossils can be categorized into contact force and non-contact force. However, we will only discuss on the common fossils. So, the first force that we are going to discuss is the weight. It is the force exerted on a body under gravitational field on or near the surface of Earth. Any object which has mass will experience this force, thus the agent for weight force is the mass. Since force is a vector, the direction of weight is pointed directly downwards and always perpendicular to the ground for all the cases. It is drawn from the center of the object directly downwards with a simple W. Equation for weight is W is equals to mg, where W is weight, m is mass of the object, and g is the gravitational acceleration 9.81 meter per second square. Secondly is the tension. It is a pulling force directed away from the object and attempts to stretch or elongate the object. The agent for this force is string, rope, wire, cable. The tensional force is always drawn from the surface of the object and directed away from it with the symbol capital T. The tension is the same at all points along the agent. Next force is the normal force also known as the reaction force. It is the reaction force exerted by the surface to an object in contact with the surface. Thus the agent here is the surface indirectly any two objects in contact experience normal force. The direction of normal force is drawn from the surface and directed outward of an object with the symbol capital N. It is always perpendicular to the surface. Frictional force is a force that opposes the relative motion of two surfaces in contact. Frictional force only exists if there is a rough surface. Friction, symbol small f, is directly proportional to the normal force capital N. The equation for force here is given as f is equal to mu N. Where f is the friction, mu is the coefficient of friction, a constant depending on the surface nature, and N is the normal force. The coefficient of friction can be defined as the ratio between friction to normal force. There are two types of friction, static friction, kinetic friction. Static friction is a force that prevents the object from moving, literally the force when the velocity is zero. The direction is always in such a way that it prevents the objects from moving and the symbol is F subscript S. Whereas kinetic friction is the force that appears as an object moves across a rough surface, known as the force that opposes the motion, directed in such a way that it's always opposite to the direction of motion with the symbol of F subscript K. Lastly, the applied or external force is a push or a pull exerted on the object. The direction of external force is usually given in the question and has a symbol of capital F. Now, it's time to test your understanding. Identify all the forces acting on each of the cases below. The object is being pulled up on a smooth plane. So the object here has a mass, so it is going to experience weight force. Being pulled up leads to external force present. And also it is in contact with a smooth surface, leads to presence of normal force. The object is hung to a wall using two strings. The object has a mass, thus it leads to weight force. It is hung using strings. The string here leads to the presence of tension. Both the string has the tensional force. The object is being pushed up a rough wall. The object has a mass which leads to the weight force. It has been pushed against the wall so it is going to experience external force. And it is in contact with a surface so it is going to experience normal force. And lastly, due to the surface is rough, there is presence of frictional force.